Hey friends, what's up? How you all doing? So, well, uh, this morning I was just thinking that I keep talking about so many different motorbikes, but I probably never did a in-depth video about our very own Jigsaw 1000 Street Fighter. So here I am. I thought I'll talk about the very unique looking motorbike that we have and well to start off this is a 2008 GSXR 1000 made in Japan imported to India now this is a regular fully fared track motorbike like how the Yamaha R1 is this was like that when she was imported to India my friend had this motorbike and he loves customizing his stuff so he removed all the fairing after having this motorbike for a couple of years and then absolutely pimped her up you know everything that you see on this motorbike everything i mean you know most of the levers the bolts and whatnot everything is aftermarket and not just cheap aftermarket stuff top of the line quality all imported from the best places and the best brands in America and this motorbike is loosely based on you know the transformers kind of a look or the Iron Man kind of a look so all the pairings are out and we have this awesome looking mask here and let me show it to you all check that out it's a face which is kind of a Iron Man kind of a look or a transformer look I'm not sure but it looks out of the world when you are riding this motorbike on the road and uh, even you know <laughs> when you're in a parking lot this one attracts more attention than any motorbike I've been on rides and I was parked behind or beside an S1000RR brand new and a brand new Daytona 675 and no one was looking at those motorbikes and people were going absolutely mad for this motorbike and you know it's, it's a nice feeling when you are out with your motorbike and uh, she grabs all the attention possible and this one is so unique she's the only one in India in America and other places there are a few other uh, motorbikes which look like this but in our country this is the only one we have so if you like attention well she can get you more attention than probably the most uh, sexy looking supermodel you know you can be out with <laughs> right now let's talk about the smaller things like she's got you know uh, like aftermarket reservoirs clutch and brake she's got uh, Pazzo levers is uh, do I pronounce it correct P A Z Z O these are very expensive ones these, these cost a few hundred dollars and she's got uh, uh, aftermarket uh, rear view mirrors of course these are from India uh, imported but bought in India not from America and uh, she I mean everything has been repainted and yes she has got a power commander now let us talk about performance and she's got a K and N free flow air filter. She's got NGK radium plugs. And this motorbike, as a stock motorbike, made about 180 horsepower and 115 Newton meters of torque. And now, after all this, she would at least make about 190 horsepower, 190. And my god, this motorbike is crazy. Absolutely crazy. She's so powerful. And when she's in naked format, you feel like you are sitting on a rocket. And when you open throttle and you go beyond 4,000 or 5,000 RPM, if you do not have your neck, uh, you know, tight, and if you are not sitting well, she can just snap your neck and throw you off the motorbike. She's so powerful. You know, someone who likes to do wheelies, she can do wheelies even in fourth gear. She's absolutely crazy. And let us talk about uh, the exhaust that she's got. She's got a complete free flow exhaust, not a full system, but the cat con has been removed, the catalytic converter. So uh, there is nothing blocking the uh, gas flow and she has a two brothers racing black series 
magnesium alloy exhaust. This is a kind of a expensive muffler and a beautiful middle pipe. The middle pipe looks absolutely gorgeous. And if you see here, every bolt on the engine has been replaced to a fancy color. You know, even the oil filler cap and some carbon fiber stickers. And there's a fender eliminator, you know, the number plate is down here. And that is a fender eliminator kit from USA. And she's got uh, high quality uh, steel bedded lines. Uh, let me think, what else, what else? Uh, I mean, quite a few things. Of course, she's got frame sliders to give you some basic protection. And of course, she's got uh, Michelin Pilot Power uh, tires, which are very good. And she's got a external uh, battery charging output because we don't uh, ride these motorbikes very often. And she's got a lithium battery. That's an expensive battery, probably a couple of hundred dollars or more. But you know, the greatest thing about a lithium battery is a regular battery in a motorcycle which comes stock, it is not a lithium battery. And that one weighs probably about two, two and a half kgs. And a lithium battery would weigh only about few hundred grams, probably 200 grams. Can you imagine that? And if you are someone who is looking at performance gains, reducing weight, yes, that can be a great factor and also lithium batteries they can hold charge for a very long time and we have a shorai lithium battery in here okay friends so i think i can crank her up and you all can enjoy the sound <laughs> friends and if you have any questions do let me know have a good day bye bye